In this video, we're going to continue on with the Finding Trigonometric Ratios worksheet. This is the second page, and we're going to start with number 9. Number 9 says to find the cosine of A. So think ka. The cosine of A equals adjacent. So here's our angle A. Remember the hypotenuse is directly across from the right angle. So that's going to be 45. So adjacent is the side that's touching that angle that is not the hypotenuse. So that's going to be 36 over the hypotenuse, which is 45. 36 divided by 45 equals 0 0.8. And we're writing this to the 10,000th. So this is equal to 0 0.8. Eight zero zero zero. Number 10, we have the cosine of z. So the cosine of z equals the adjacent over hypotenuse. We know our hypotenuse is 25, so the adjacent side is 15. 15 divided by 25, we know it can be simplified down into 3 fifths, which is 0 0.6. So this is equal to 0 0.6000. 13, we're finding the cosine of x. The cosine of x equals adjacent over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 17, and the adjacent of x is 8. 8 divided by 17 equals 0 0.470 0, and then rounding to give us 6. So 0 0.4706. Number 14, we have the tangent of a. When you have tangent, think TOA. Tangent of A equals opposite over adjacent. So here's our angle A. The hypotenuse is 50, and we do not use hypotenuse in tangent, so we don't need this. So we're going to look at the opposite, which is 30, over the adjacent, which is 40. 30 over 40 is 3 fourths, which is 0 0.75, 0, 0. Number 15, we have the tangent of x, and the tangent of x equals the opposite over adjacent. So here's x. 30 is the hypotenuse, so we're not using the hypotenuse. Opposite is 24, and adjacent is 18. 24 divided by 18 gives us 1.3 repeating. So this is equal to 1.3333. Number 16, the tangent of x. So the tangent of x equals opposite, which is 15 over adjacent. 25 is our hypotenuse, so 20 is the adjacent. 15 over 20 can be simplified to 3 fourths, and that's equivalent to 0 0.75. And we need to do this to the 10 thousandths, so it's 0 0.7500. 0, 0. For the rest of these, we need to use a calculator to find the value of each to the nearest 10 thousandth. So 17, make sure your calculator is in degrees since we're doing the sine of 21 degrees. We're not using radians, so make sure it's in degree mode. And then you can click the sine of 21, and that's going to be equal to 0 0.358, and then rounding the 3 to the 4. So 0 0.3584. Next, we have the tangent of 22. So keeping the calculator in degree mode, we're going to type tangent of 22, and that's equal to 0 0.4040. 
Next, we're looking at the cosine of 20, and that's going to be 0 0.9397. For number 20, we're looking for the sine of 77 degrees. So the sine of 77 degrees equals 0 0.9744. For number 21, we're finding the tangent of 17. The tangent of 17 is equal to 0 0.3057. And lastly, the cosine of 87 degrees. So we're going to put cosine of 87, and that's equal to 0 0.0523. And with that, we wrap up our Finding Trigonometric Ratios worksheet. Please feel free to give me a thumbs up on this video, and if you have any questions, comment below. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel.